In this activity, we are going to be reading Thurgood Marshall's Liberty Medal Acceptance Speech and identifying key details and main idea. So as I'm looking at this, I want to preview and make some predictions about the text before I begin reading. So I'm going to just scan through and some of the things that I notice is here I have an introductory paragraph that gives me a whole lot of details. It tells me um, who gave the speech and when it was given. And it talks about Thurgood Marshall, who was the um, speaker, and he was the first African-American Supreme Court justice. So we can predict that this speech has some ideas that he had that he wants to share with his audience. And we see some information in the photographs. And I wonder how these topics are all relating to this particular speech. So let's read the first three paragraphs and find the purpose of Justice Marshall's speech. And we're going to identify key details and determine the main idea on this part of the speech. Then later on, you will go into the next part of the speech and read paragraphs four through six to find the significance of those paragraphs. So as I read, the first thing that I noticed was in this first paragraph, I'm looking for what was his purpose. And it says right here that he wants to remind people that the fight for constitutional freedoms and equality is an ongoing battle. So I'm going to underline that line so that I remember that I believe that's the main point of the speech. And so I've got an underline there. And then it goes on to the first paragraph after that, um, right up in here, where he makes a brief introduction. And he says that in independence is a concept near and dear to my heart. So I think he's going to be talking this whole speech about independence because it's important to him. In the next chap, next paragraph, um, Justice Marshall is telling a joke. He's saying that he's not giving a speech. Instead, he says he wants to share stories of people who have understood the meaning of liberty and struggled against the odds to become free. So I think that's mostly what his speech is going to be about. It's going to be about people who have struggled against the odds to become free. So I think in his speech, he's going to give me examples of that. Then my next paragraph, it's, he says um, that his purpose is not to dwell on the past, but to gain inspiration for what can be. So he's not dwelling on the past, but he's looking for inspiration for what can be. So I think he's also going to be talk about talking about what he thinks things can be like. All right. So those three paragraphs, I think with those things, I found my key details. And now I'm going to take those and write one main idea. So my main idea might be something that Thurgood Marshall, in his speech, wanted to talk about uh, constitutional freedoms and equality being an ongoing thing, and that his independence is very important to him. And he wants to make sure that um, there, we are aware that there are lots of people who have been struggling against odds to become free, and we want to gain inspiration for what can be. So I think that would be something I could write out. So in the next video, you can see our sample of how we fill out the graphic organizer so that you can continue with, chap with paragraphs four and five.